Good morning. On Tuesday, we learned that it is a command to seek God, that God will be good to us if we seek him, that he may have mercy on us if we seek him, and others will follow us if we seek him. Today, I want to talk about what the Bible says about how to seek him and how to find him. Jeremiah 29, 12 through 14. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Pay attention now. Listen carefully. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. And again in Jeremiah, I'm, I'm sorry, in Deuteronomy 4.29, it says, But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. These verses are promises from God. But I want to point out that they are what we call a provisional promise. That means that God puts a condition on these promises. Basically, it means if we do our part, he'll do his part. That leads me to say that, you know, maybe many times when we think that God has not kept a promise from his word, maybe it's because we have not done our part of the promise. Now, back to our devotional. Notice the word, if. If thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart. So if I want to find God, I have to do my part. I have to seek him with all my heart. So I started thinking about how I could do that. And my mind went back to college when I first met my husband David and started to fall in love with him. And I began to see a comparison between my relationship with David when I was trying to win his heart and how that could compare with seeking after God. When I was dating David, I would look for him everywhere. When I was going from one class to another, I would search the hallways hoping to catch a glance of him. When we went to church or chapel, I would scan the auditorium searching for him. And when I walked into the dining hall, I would look around to all the tables to see if I could spot him. It was what my heart longed to do. I lived just to see his face, even if for just a moment. Psalm 69, verse 32. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. Psalm 105, verse 4. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Does God occupy your thoughts? Do you look for signs of his presence everywhere you go? Do you see him in the sunrise and sunset? Do you hear him in the bird's song? Do you see his smile in a newborn face? Do you hear his voice speaking in the wind? When you go to the ocean and see the mighty waves that cannot pass his decree, do you see his power and his strength? Search for him. Fill your mind with thoughts of the next time you will meet with him. When I was dating David and seeking to capture his heart, another thing I would do is I would try to spend every free minute with him. If I had a class at one o'clock, I would stay with him until the last possible second, and then I'd dash off to class before I was late. He left for work at uh, 1.30, and I would walk him to the parking lot, and I would wave as he drove away. I did this all the time because I wanted to be with him every minute I could. I didn't want to waste one minute. Um, I was delighted to be with him. Isaiah 58, 2, yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways. They take delight in approaching to God. Do you long for the time you get to spend with God? Do you spend as long as possible with him? Or are you skimming through the proverb, proverb of the day so you can dash off to the mall? Does your heart ache when you have to close your Bible and put it away? Do you long for Sunday so you can learn more of him? If you want to search for him with all your heart, you will. You will spend every possible minute in his presence, and when the time is up, you'll long for more. Every day, you will delight to come into God's presence. Now, one of the craziest things I did while trying to win David's heart, well, I think I might have already had it by this time. Anyways, one of the craziest things I would do is I would go to breakfast with him. Why is that crazy, you might ask? Well, if you know me, you know that I hate mornings. I hate getting up early. I want to stay up so late and sleep in. Well, 
our senior year of school for several months, breakfast was the only time I got to see David, except for on Sundays at church. I was student teaching every day until 2 o'clock, and then I left for work right when I got back. And he left for work at 1.30 and didn't come home until after my curfew, so the only time we could see each other was at 7 o'clock for breakfast. You know I was in love if I got up before 6 o'clock so I could meet him for 45 minutes before I left to teach. Psalm 63, verse 1, O oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. Proverbs eight seventeen. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Sometimes I would lay in bed at night thinking about how excited I was that I got to see David in the morning. Maybe I had something exciting to tell him, um, and I would just lay there thinking about it. Isaiah 26, verse 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. Do you wake up early to meet with God? Are you willing to set your alarm clock maybe 45 minutes early so you have time to meet with him? If you want to seek him with your whole heart, you will seek him early. Start your mornings with God's word and your whole day will be brighter. I know I always had a smile on my face after my time with David at breakfast. And your time with God in the morning will get you in a positive, happy spirit to face the rest of the day. When David and I were together, we would talk. I would talk to him and he would talk to me. We would tell each other everything. We kept no secrets from each other. I wanted to learn everything I could about him, his likes and dislikes. I wanted to know his temperament and what his character was. When we spend time with God, we should talk to Him and allow Him to talk to us. That is Bible reading and prayer time. Tell God everything. You can keep no secrets from Him. Psalm 44, 21 says that He knows the secrets of our heart. He knows you inside and out, so talk to Him. Tell Him your thoughts and your feelings. Pour out your heart to Him like the psalmist said. Then let His word speak to you. Search for verses that will help you make it through the day. Seek to learn more of him through his word. Learn about his likes, his dislikes, his temperament. Learn God's characters. Acts seventeen eleven. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily. Are you seeking him in his word daily? Are you seeking to learn about him with all your heart? Jeremiah 29, verses 12 through 13. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Are you talking to God daily? Are you praising him for his amazing grace? Do you boast to him of his goodness? Do you tell him all your cares and troubles? Do you pour out your heart to him? Seek him. Search for him everywhere. Spend every minute you can with him. Wake up early to spend time in his presence. Talk with him and let him speak to you. Seek him with your whole heart. He wants to be found and you can find him if you search with your whole heart heart.